and I've got a, a big, a bit of a boot, uh, what, do, what do you call it? A bit of a bubble butt. <laughs> Monica and welcome back to my channel so today's video it's not a haul it's more of a lookbook so I created six outfits featuring six items that you guys have probably seen already on this channel from the summer um, these are pieces that I bought over the summertime to use during the summertime but now that we're transitioning into fall I'm creating six ideas, six different looks featuring these pieces that you can easily wear into the fall or when it starts getting a little cooler. Um, to be honest, it doesn't get terribly cold in Atlanta, so I feel like I can wear a lot of these outfits pretty much the f entire, <laughs> entire fall and maybe a little bit into winter, but they're all really easy to wear, easy to recreate looks. Um, these are pieces that are still available, some are still available, some are sold out. I will try and make sure I link similar options if items are sold out so you guys can, you know, recreate the looks if you want to. But I also feel like these are items that are in your closet. So you can literally just go to your closet, shop your closet, and recreate these outfits. Um, I did not buy anything for this haul, so that was really my challenge to really go back see what I purchased over the fall, I'm sorry, over the summer, and then just pick up some of my fall, winter pieces and, you know, figure out how to incorporate these pieces and how to create looks whereby I'm comfortable, I'm true to my style, and, you know, I'm, I'm a vibe, so, yes. <laughs> these looks are awesome. If you're new, what's up, I'm Monica. And I tend to record these things first thing in the morning. Um, and my mornings start very early. So by the time I start recording, I'm starving. And I don't want to eat because I'm going to brunch with some girlfriends afterwards. But anywho, if you love fashion, fashion, and more fashion, make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. I do create a lot of high, low outfits. Um, I love fashion, you know, so... If I'm a vibe, if you love fashion, if you love home decor, if you love high-low, make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Guys, if you guys have been rocking with me this long and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Because I know there are some of you guys that have not subscribed. But in addition to subscribing, make sure you hit the notification bell. That way you do not miss any of the videos. Because looking at the stats, I'm, I'm seeing that not everyone that subscribed is actually seeing my video so make sure you hit that notification bell um if you're on a tv i think it's where the face is so you just drop that click down here it comes down you like subscribe hit the notification bell that way you don't miss anything because we create really good videos here anywho enough talking let's get into this video also quick shout out to instagram make sure you follow me it's odd by Monty and odd by Monty on tiktok as well now let's get into the video Okay, so the first, actually, no, let me tell you guys the six items that I'm going to highlight today. So I'm highlighting a suit. It's a green short suit. I'm highlighting a floral blazer, um, a floral skirt, what else, white linen pants, um, and then a white, sorry, a linen vest, so kind of what I have on. So I think that's six. I think I said six. So yes, there's six really great outfits. Now let's get into it. All right, so the first look, I wanted to highlight this green seersucker short suit that was gifted to me from Veronica Beard. The shorts are a little on the shorter end, and the blazer is your classic double-breasted blazer. The seersucker itself is traditionally a summer fabric. However, who made the rules, right? If it's in my closet and I want to wear it, trust and believe I'm going to wear it. So I figured how can I take this suit featuring this very on-trend color that I'm obsessed with and how can I easily transition it into the fall. What I did was I actually wore a Skims bodysuit under a sheer turtleneck um, short sleeve bodysuit. The sheer bodysuit was from Lady Boutique. My girlfriend gifted it to me and then the Skims one, I think I got it at Nordstrom or whatnot. I'm sure I will link everything. But yes, took the suit and then paired them with my knee-high 
Western Saint Laurent boots. I got these boots maybe two years ago. I love them. They're classic. Funny thing is, I've never worn them outside of the house, but I love the boots and they're great for the videos. I have, there's a reason why I've never worn them out outside of the house and I refuse to give them up. My sister, <laughs> she's always asking for these boots. She's like, well, eventually I will give them to her and, and truly eventually I'll give them to her. But when I wear these boots, my feet slide forward and it's very uncomfortable for me. But I love the boots. One of these days, I will be brave enough and I will wear it. Maybe I'll put socks or something in the front to prevent my feet from sliding forward. If you guys have any, like, you know, suggestions, please let me know because I don't know how to prevent my, my feet from sliding forward and then digging in the front because they're pretty roomy and they're actually, I can walk in them, but anywho, enough of the boots. They're old, so you can't probably, you probably won't be able to find them. But look at the way the boots just complement the overall outfit and just elevate the look. Like it looks so cool and it's so fun. I love this. I literally need to figure out how to wear the shoes without being in pain because I want to wear this look out. I, I need to wear this look out. And if you don't have the Veronica Beard suit, if you didn't pick up this suit over the summer, you can easily do this with a green shorts, double-breasted suit like this. I know Zara had similar looks. You know, they've had them in the past. I have a suit from Zara that's literally like this. But by simply pairing your Western boots, your knee-high boots, in, you know, a color that complements the suit. I would not do black because I think black is too harsh for these lighter colors. But think of your beiges and your browns and your caramels. They will complement the suit. They look really good. It transitions seamlessly into the fall. Also, for bag, I did my um, Fendi first in that beautiful caramel brown color, and it just complements the boots. They're not the same color, but it still complements the overall look, and it also complements the sheer um, turtleneck bodysuit, or mock neck, rather, bodysuit that I'm wearing under. Love, love, love. On to the next. So the star of look three is this beautiful express sheer, it's kind of like a sheerish fabric, but ruched um, pencil skirt. I shared this with this skirt with you guys in an express haul. I love this skirt. When I did the haul, I told you guys that I would wear this skirt for the fall winter, and I love the way I styled it. You know, there are so many amazing colors in this skirt that you can easily take from to kind of introduce other colors. I found that pink is going to be a huge, huge color for um, the fall winter season, hence I decided to play on pink. If you guys haven't seen my trend report, I'm not sure if it comes out before or after this, but I have a trend report and you guys know I got you covered for the trends. I've never steered you wrong, have I? So make sure you check out um, the trend report. If it's not live, I will link it or stay tuned, it's coming. So just keep on following this page or channel and you won't miss it but yes pink amazing 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 the pink crop sweatshirt that I introduced to the skirt is from Zara I got it very late in the Zara sale I highly doubt it's still available I will try to see if I can find something similar um, but I just love the way the sweater kind of frames the skirt I'm a very narrow silhouette so I'm about five six one of my friends told me I need to speak about my silhouette so you guys can really like picture yourselves if you know you're a sim similar silhouette. I am 5'6". I have a more athletic build and I am a little bit more narrow. Even though my waist is somewhat small, I don't have hips. So I come across a little bit more straight. After having two kids, I have a little bit of a pouch, hence I wrap my stomach all the time. And I've got a, a, big, a bit of a boot, uh, what, do, what do you call it? A bit of a bubble butt. <laughs> so yes, that is my silhouette. Um, and I did mention in, when I did the express haul that I'm always a little abrasive to wearing things that are tight just because I'm a little self-conscious of my stomach. I've mentioned this to you guys um, 101 different times. I know how everybody's like, you're crazy. I Trust me, I see it. I know it. Um, and it's just one of those things for me, not for anybody else, that I'm a bit more conscious of it. But anywho, a ruche skirt like this does a great job of masking those, you know, little areas of our body that we don't love as much. Not that I don't love, I love my body, but th that we're just not comfortable with. Let's put it that way. Anywho, love, love, love the outfit. So one of the key things to making this look work is the elevated boots. The platform boots, they are Valentino. I love them. You guys know I love the Tango platforms. I have them already and I got the boots, obsessed with them. But what the boots do is they really elongate the body and they balance the oversized 
situation going on on top with the bottom so it just really elongates making you know that narrow bottom and the fuller top work with that fuller chunkier heel on the bottom I love this outfit like this outfit is just so it's so good to me I love it I have I'm getting ready for fashion week and I have a similar look oh it's gonna be so good anywho the fashion week look it is a Fendi pencil skirt a knit pencil skirt and I just ordered a really oversized um, sweatshirt to kind of recreate something similar to this. I actually went like two sizes up in the sweatshirt so I really want it to be oversized. I hope it's just not too long in the arms but I have long arms to begin with so we'll see. But anywho, back to this look. Love, love, love. Um, for a bag I did my Valentino um, rock stud wearing it has a crossbody because the whole idea of an outfit like this to me is to be very casual, cool. You're hanging out with friends, you're meeting up with people, it's cool outside, you want to be cute, you want to draw a little attention, you know, um, with those bright colors and I'm here for it I love it I also did my friend um, not Fendi Valentino cuff I have not worn this enough so I'm wearing it all day today I didn't even wear a watch I'm just wearing the cuff and I love it but yes I'm obsessed with this outfit super fun I'm sh I hope I know a few of you's got this skirt during when I shared that express haul but if not even the skirt you can do this with any kind of you know fitted pencil skirt that you purchased during the summer and you just kind of want to keep on wearing it so yeah love 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 on to the next <music> we've got your linen trousers linen pants I feel like everyone got a linen a pair of linen pants over the summer season and you know when it starts to get cold outside we just feel like okay it's time to pack away the linen pants no you don't have to I'm not <laughs> um, I love this pair this pair is from Lulu studio I think I got it from Net-A-Porter I love them I will see who else has them if they're still available um, you know, they're just a beautiful pair of linen pants. Even though it's beginning to get a little cooler in Atlanta, it's like I said, it's still warm. I still have some summer trips coming up. Ooh, a really good girls trip coming up. So I will probably take these pants with me as well. But if I don't want to put them away, and here in Atlanta, the weather goes up and down. So you'll have days that are warm, and then you'll have days that are cold. So in my head, I wanted to put away my summer stuff, but I'm just like, no, it's still hot. So when you have pieces like this, whereby it's a little cool in the morning, you can take your linen pants, wear them later on, but you know, in the mornings, the evenings when it's a little cool, you can easily wear a knit sweater like the one I'm wearing. This one is from Zara. I also got it on their sale. Um, it Because it has the it's a loose knit and it's got the holes, it's very breathable. Uh, so if it's too hot, you can easily take that off, wear a tank top under it. I just wore a black bra, but you can wear a black tank top over it. That way, you know, if it gets too hot in the middle of the day, you can easily lose the sweater, put it over your shoulders, tie it over your waist, whatever you want to do with it. But I just love this outfit because I feel like it's clean and classic. Everybody has a black knit in their closet. Everybody probably has a pair of off-white or white linen pants that you really love and you're comfortable with but you're not just ready to get rid of them just yet so this is just your classic way to wear it I put, wear the look with my Chanel loafers I don't know if they really show because the pants are so long but just a classic pair of loafers um, the Chanel loafers look great with this outfit in terms of a bag I did my Strathberry bag I really wanted to add a little bit of interest and color to this black and white outfit and the bag just does a great job of adding that mint green that we're gonna see a lot more of coming the new season so I love this outfit very classic very clean easy to wear on to the next Next up, I'm highlighting this suit that I picked up. Um, this was the, towards the end of the summer um, item that I or set that I picked up from Banana Republic. I got it on sale. I wasn't even trying to buy any clothes because God knows I don't need. But the price and the suit, I was just like, I have to, I have to have it. I wore it in, I think, in my like mini bag video. If you guys haven't seen that video, make sure you watch it. It's so good. I'm sharing my favorite or I would say even the best mini bags to have really and I'm kind of rating fashion function or both so if you're into mini bags or you're considering mini bags make sure you watch it I also share some of the bags that I'm coveting as well as the ones I would not 
touch so if you're curious to know the mini bags that I do not like at all check out that video of course I will link it in the description box as well but yes I love this suit it's so good it's your classic summer suit you've got the Bermuda shorts they're high-waisted you've got this longer blazer with the single button and the double pockets on one side it's just a be beautiful set it also has its own belt but I took the belt off because I wasn't a fan of the belt but to kind of transition it into the cooler weather I'm wearing this um, crew neck majestic long sleeve um, t-shirt I love these t-shirts I don't think they make them anymore but I'm sure tons of brands have their version of this um, super super old from Nordstrom I love them the fabrics are amazing but yes I love the look together originally I wanted to do like a black turtleneck but my fall and winter clothes are literally <laughs> they're like in my ceiling in my attic my husband put them up and I was just like okay I need to do this and make it work um, so I'm doing the crew neck but you can do the same look the same idea with a turtleneck but I'm doing the crew neck instead. Like I said, it doesn't get too cold in Atlanta. Um, but yes, doing the black turtle um, crew neck. And then I use that black to kind of pull in my Nike Jordans. I love these shoes. They're so fun. I love them. And I love the way it looks with the suit. It's just, you know, the suit is a little dressy because it's classic on its own. But you're adding this very streetwear, very, you know, um, fun pair of shoes to kind of just create this juxtaposition. And I love it. I love the sporty with the classic look. And I'm here for it. Um, what else did I do with this look in terms of a bag? Let's see. I did my Chanel clutch. I did this particular clutch because the clutch has lilac. It's got some of the colors that are actually on the shoes. So I was like, you know what? Let's dress up this casual, cool look with a clutch. So, you know, we've got classic. We've got casual with the um, crew neck. We've got casual with the shoes. But you can always add these, you know, very chic, very classic elements to create the perfect outfit. And I'm here for it. I love this look. I feel like this is a look everybody and anyone can do, especially if you're into sneakers. Let me know which look you're feeling so far. Don't forget to like the video, guys. If you're enjoying this video thus far, make sure you like it. Give me a thumbs up. That way, you know, YouTube knows that this is a great video and they continue to share it um, with more people and we grow. On to the next. Next up, we've got a floral blazer. This was one of my favorite pieces from the summer. Um, I shared this with you guys in a haul. This is from H&M. I love it. I wore it to the Burna Boy concert. I've gotten my cost per wear out of this, and I will keep on wearing it. It's just such a great blazer. Well-made, cost-effective from H&M. Um, I don't know if it's still available. I, I feel like it sold out the first time I shared it. But, you know, with H&M, they always, you know, kind of bring stuff back. So if it's still available, I will link it. If there's something similar, I will link it as well. It's your oversized floral blazer. I love that you've got these great neutral colors, making it easy to actually transition into other seasons. So I was like, how can I make this fun but work in fall? And not even just fall. Honestly, why not winter? when it's a little on the warmer side, not terribly cold, right? Because we want to not get a cold. But yes, I paired it with a knit dress that I got from Zara, also on sale. The white shirt is super old. I don't even remember which brand gifted it to me, but it's a very old shirt. I love it. I love the fact that you've got that detail sleeve. It doesn't have to be this exact shirt or it doesn't even have to be a shirt that has a detail sleeve like that. You can just do a classic white shirt under, you know, under your knit dress. But then what I did with this, because you've got that detail with the sleeve, I just pulled the blazer on top of my shoulders and not actually wearing it. But it just adds interest. It complements the, you know, the gray and the pattern on the knit dress um and it just looks great i love this outfit so for shoes i did my booties they're balenciaga i love them they add more interest they kind of give what could have been a classic you know outfit more of an edgy vibe and i'm here for it and i also feel like the boots do a great job of complementing the floral blazer so the silhouette on the blazer is a bit more you know casual cool modern with that oversized boxy look and then you've got these very casual cool very funky pair of um boots that just really 
create this very edgy outfit and I'm here for it. In terms of the bag, I did my Brandon Maxwell bag, that little cute little lilac bag. It's so cute. I'm obsessed with it. You've got tons of like lilac details in the blazer. So that's how I use, you know, that little bag to kind of complement those details. And I love this outfit. I feel like it's such a, I can't wait to wear this look. I'm contemplating, I might even just have to take this look with me to fashion week because it's just so cool. It's fun, it's easy to wear. And why not? On to the next. the last outfit features actually the, the focus of this last outfit was supposed to be the vest this is a linen vest that I got from Express I shared it with you guys in my Express haul um, I think it was the second Express, Express haul I did so may, I would say the May Express haul um, when I talked about like sets and whatnot um, I love I love menswear inspired anything but because it's linen I felt I feel like a lot of people might feel like okay it's time to put it up it's linen I can't really wear it into the fall like I said, who made the rules? It's our clothes. It's our money. <laughs> Come tell me what I can and cannot wear. I don't think so. But anywho, love the vest. I paired them with these trousers from Koss. I'm obsessed with these pants. If you guys have been rocking with me for a minute, you've seen these pants. I'm actually wearing them a little lower than I would normally wear them. Literally wearing them under my belly button. But because I have these, you know, this um, vest that kind of hits me there, it's okay. So it's covering anything I would have wanted to, you know, cover in terms of, my stomach or whatnot um, and it's just sitting really really well I'm obsessed like when I tell you I'm obsessed with this look and this outfit I'm here for it so not only am I taking this vest which is from my summer wardrobe but I'm also taking this very old um, blazer from Zara I shared this blazer before it sold out the first time when I featured it in 2020 um, and then you know I've, I think I wore it again recently and it's just one of those fun pieces so especially now with this season coming up pink is going to be huge Valentino made sure that pink was going to be huge and we're gonna see so much pink I'm so excited because you guys know I'm a pink girl but yes I love the blazer so I'm like you know why not wear it why not wear it into the fall if it's, it's fun it works so I'm definitely gonna wear it into the fall but in addition to the blazer and the vest I also took out my Prada rubber cage slides because um, in my head you know okay they were a summer shoe but like I said why can't we continue to wear it so you know the pinks are not the same they're very different hues of pink but for me it still works the shoes are all the way on the bottom um, and the blazers on the top but if it's too much and if you are a bit more cautious of having those colors at least have some kind of continuity um, you can just lose this blazer I was originally going to do a black blazer so if I had done the same thing with the black oversized blazer and just have those shoes I feel like the shoes would probably pop more so if you feel like okay I'm not really a pink girl I don't want to do a pink oversized blazer on top you can always do the same look with a black oversized blazer or even fitted um, I just think something a bit more oversized would really kind of complement this, you know, a bit more boxy kind of look with this narrow fitted um, vest under it. So, yeah, that's my mindset for putting the outfit together. Anywho, love, love, love the pieces. In terms of a bag, I did my Chanel 19. Um, I love the fact that the bag has interest and it has a variety of different colors, including pink. The pink on the bag actually does a better job of pairing with the pink on the shoe instead of the pink on the blazer. And I'm here for that. And I always say it's those little details, especially little color details that you want to use to introduce other elements into your outfit to make the perfect outfit of the day. Alright guys, there you have it. Those are my transition outfits. What do we think? Did I inspire you to go into your closet and take what you have and start thinking about fall? Let me know with your comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching my videos. You guys have no idea how much it means to me because, you know, with all the social media algorithms and even YouTube algorithm, but the fact that there's still such a good amount of you guys that take the time to comment to watch I'm appreciative of it because I I just you know it's one thing to create content and nobody sees it 
but when you're creating it and when people see it and they appreciate it and they share it with others and they let you know that really means a lot and it's my motivation to keep on doing this so i thank you so much in advance i cannot wait to share so much more fall content because you know this is my season this is a canadian girl here so i love fall and i love the fact that i actually get to experience true fall in atlanta you get you probably get fall in toronto for like a hot second and then it's cold so it's so nice to create fall content to share it with you guys to inspire you guys like i said never feel like oh my god you know monica created this look now i have to go out and buy it. no if you feel like you need it yes but never feel like, oh my god, I just have to go shopping again. Because a lot of times people are like, oh my god, I'm making them spend. That is really not my goal. Of course, if you want to spend, you know, we like to spend money here. But it's really and truly, it's just to give you guys the inspiration you need to look your best and feel your best all the time. And I'm here for that. Anywho, yes, thank you for watching. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me. It's odd by Moni. Let me know that you watched this video. I just watched your transitional video. Loved it. Throw me some pink hearts to kind of, you know, compliment this whole pink situation I have going on. And just, you know, make sure you guys are following me because I, I post at least five times a week on Instagram. Same thing with um, TikTok. So you'll always find new content on one of the platforms basically every every week. So, yeah, follow me on there, Odd by Money on both platforms. Also, don't forget to check out my website. It's oddbymonica.com for tons of style inspiration. My blog will be turning 10 in a few months so very excited about that but you know a 10 year old blog has tons of inspiration especially the what would money wear page tons of outfits for pretty much any occasion you can think of so make sure you check it out as always thank you so much guys thank you for subscribing and until the next one bye guys